Hi friends, I'm getting ready for bed and I've got my teeth brushed, I've got my glass of water, I've gone potty, and I'm ready for bed on the night before school. So I thought I would share with you my favorite part of bedtime, which is my bedtime story. I can't go to sleep without some kind of story. So tonight I wanted to read with you this book, The Night Before First Grade, because Tonight, we are changing. We are moving up from kindergartners. We are moving to be big first graders who do a lot of things all by ourselves. And I think that especially our class, some of you will find a nice um, surprise at the end of this story. All right, let's read The Night Before First Grade. The Night Before First Grade by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Deborah Zemke. The night before first grade. Twas the night before first grade, I kissed my dog Clover. School's starting tomorrow because summer is over. Into my backpack went markers and pens. I hung my new outfit. It matched my friend Jen's. I spoke not a word, but went straight to the shelf and filled up my lunchbox. I made lunch myself. I can't wait to see Jenny, I told my big brother. I hope that our desks are right next to each other. That night, I was nestled all snug in my bed while visions of jungle gyms danced in my head. The next day at breakfast, Dad made such a fuss. What a big girl you are to be taking the bus. Hurry, Penny, said Mom, as it turned down our street. Over here, shouted Jenny. I saved you a seat. At school, kindergartners stood outside in the hall. They all looked so young. Were we ever that small? While they clung to their parents, we hugged Miss Sunrise. You two grow, grew so tall, she said with surprise. Da -da -da ding rang the school bell. We made such a clatter as we raced to our classroom. <gasps> then Jen said, what's the matter? The principal told us that some changes were made. We have some new students, so we split the first grade. Hi, Penny, said my teacher. You're in here with me. But yipes, Jenny wasn't. She was in room 33. Hmm. We waved goodbye sadly and said, see you later. I had to be brave because I'm a first grader. Soon we sat in a circle and we each said our name. Then we played 20 questions, and I won the game. Mr. Barr is so funny. He tells jokes and he juggles. Our class pet so cute, it's a bunny named Snuggles. I knew most of the kids except just a few. So I went and said hi to a girl who was new. We sat side by side and we made pictures with noodles. We laughed when we saw we had both made noodle poodles. <laughs> we both have pet turtles and love turquoise blue and pistachio ice cream is her favorite too.
I can't wait till you meet my best friend at lunch. I just know that you'll both like each other a bunch. The lunchroom was buzzing, so busy and loud. We sat down at a table. Was Jen in this crowd? Hmm. When what to my wondering eyes there in line was Jen with a new friend who looked just like mine. I'm Tina. I'm Nina. Their eyes, how they twinkled behind matching frames. They had curly pigtails and they had rhyming names. Our new friends were twins. And though school's just begun, I know first grade will be twice as much fun. All right, well, I hope you like that book as much as I did. Um, I think that some of you found the surprise at the end that I was talking about. Um, the new friends that they met in school happen to be twins. And we are very lucky in our class to have not one, not two, but three sets of twins in our class that we're all gonna be friends with um, starting tomorrow morning when we, come to, when we come to school on Zoom. So um, that was a little special treat at the end of this book and one of the reasons I thought it was perfect for us. Now, I want you to get some sleep and be well rested because tomorrow morning is gonna start very early from what I'm sure you're used to waking up in the summer. So I will see you guys all tomorrow morning on Zoom at 7.50 and we'll read some more fun books and do some new activities to start our first grade. All right, good night.